Welcome all. Today I'm going to tell you about the Selenium ID. Uh, how Selenium ID can help you in your Selenium automation. So uh, first question is that what is Selenium ID? So let me show you. Selenium ID is basically a add-on. It is a plugin of the Chrome automation. So let me do one thing. I will open a Chrome or uh, let me open a new tab here. Then I will go to the search part and will write Selenium ID for Chrome. Now, after clicking on it, you will get this link, Selenium ID. Click on it. Now you will see it will give you option Selenium ID and add to Chrome. So click on add to Chrome. Now you have to click on this add extension. When it will click on add extension, you will see it will open a pop-up. Selenium ID has been added to your Chrome. Okay. Use this extension by click on, clicking on this icon. Let me close it. And you will see whenever you want to use your Selenium ID extension, click on this extension button. Click on extension link and you will see this extension ID is here. Okay. Now I will show you that how you can use this ID to generate some code for your Selenium automation. Okay. So let me give a scenario. Let me close it. Let me close it. Now we'll show you. Suppose take the example. Uh, this is the application www.leafguard.com and you want to automate it. Okay. So uh, how you are going to automate? Let me give the example. Suppose take the example. I have generated a Java file there and I've written a common code like public static void main in main. I have written this code to open a browser. Then I have written code to enter the URL. So I've written this code. Okay. So same thing you can say this code will do open your browser and then you have entered the URL for your application. Now, anything you want to, any test case, any scenario you want to perform in your application using automation. So what you have to do, you have to perform it manually and with the help of Selenium ID, it will record all the things in the form of code and you can directly use that code in your this java file i will show you how this is possible so this is the application so i will do one thing just copy this url and now go to this extension click on selenium id extension it will open a this pop-up for you now you will see options here click on record a new test in a new project click on that now just give any name you can give any name and this name is uh, basically you are giving a name uh, of the project for your selenium id so i will say pradeep selenium sample project now click on okay when you click on okay it will ask that what what url you want to use for your automation recording so i will paste it here same www.leapcard.com. So whatever application you want to automate, you just give the URL of that application here and then click on start recording. When you will click on recording, it you will see it will open a pop-up. This one Selenium ID is recording. Here you can see at the left side here and whatever action you will you are going to perform on your this browser that will be recorded. Let me show you how this is possible. Click on, for example, I'm automating Click, you have to click on edit button. Click. Now you have to enter in your email address. I'm writing enter with the nailwall55 at the rate gmail.com. I've written this. Thing. Okay. Now you can write some text in text field. So I'm, you can say I have entered something in the email address field. Now I'm entering something here. I am writing. Da, 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 da. I'm writing recording test so i've entered this thing now you can if you want to perform some other things in your automation like get default text enter whatever you want to perform means whatever you want want to perform here you can perform every operation using manually just you are doing it manually on your this one now after that what you have to do simply click on the selenium id and here you will see this option stop recording click on this when you click on this it is asking that okay whatever you have recorded i'm going to save 
with the name of any test case. So I'm giving a name, Pradeep first test case. I've written this. Now click on OK. When you click on OK, you will see in the Selenium ID, this test case is recorded here. In the same way, in the same way, you can record other test case also. But here I'm just giving the example that how you can use this recorded test case in your Selenium automation. So I will do one thing. Just click on this test case and you will see you will get option here. Let me let it be, make it big. Click on this one and you will see three options, three dots here. Click on this and just click on export. When you click on export, it will show you the option to generate the code for this recording in N unit, X unit, Java, J unit, JavaScript, Mocha, Python, Ruby. Whatever in whatever language you are interested to generate the code, you can generate. I'm generating the code for Java here. So select Java is already selected. Then click on export. When you click on export, you will see it is giving you to save the file and automatically it's saving the file in the form of the Java. I'm giving the location desktop. Now just click on save. Now go to the location. You can go from here also that where file is generated. You can see this is the file. Here you can see the file of your ready first test case Java. Now open it. You can open it using notepad or edit plus. I will open it. Now you can see it has generated the code. You can see. So the thing is that you don't need to copy all the codes here because he's generating the code using so many libraries in the Selenium ID. You can see here generated by ID. But we know that whatever we have recorded, we have recorded this scenario. What recorded? The data driver.get. Enter the URL. Then it's size. You can see I have not made anything, but because I was trying to make some size of the window, it has written this code. Then it has written this code. CSS selector to click on the that the first link that edit edit. Uh, what is that link? Let me show you here. We have clicked on this edit button, right? So you can see this code is generated here. This one. So they are using CSS selector. Then they have clicked on email. Then they have written send keys. And then in the same way, you can they have generated the code to enter something in the password. You want to see this? Just do one thing. I will copy this code from here. You can copy the whole code. Uh, let me copy this whole code. Da, 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 da. I will copy this whole code till here and copy and will go to my this one and I can paste it here. Here you can say I can paste it here. Now you can see I pasted here. So it is giving dimension because we have not copied the copy the import one. You can see it is already included the import one for the dimension. Da, da, da. You can see here you want to copy this thing. You can copy this thing and the code will run fine. So let me do one thing. Let me copy this thing from here and go and paste it in the import section. I'm going to import it here. Now you can see it is giving the import for buy.id something. So I have uh, shown you already the shortcut key to import. Control C. Oh. Now you can see all code is, all the files are imported here by dimension web drive. If I will run it, just see it is working or not. So let me right click. Let me run as Java application. You can see it is working. It is working. You have not written any code, but your automation is running. So how you have utilized it, you can utilize the Selenium ID for your record and play. But I will suggest you that you can use for your critical things like if you are not able to find any X path properly, you can use this tool, Selenium ID, for your purpose. And what is the other benefit? What are the other benefit? This, whatever code you have generated, you can run this code in a, any browser. Here you are running in Chrome. You can run in Firefox. You can run in uh, uh, Internet Explorer. You can run anywhere. So this is the this is the use. Selenium ID is all or also used for multiple purpose, but I think you should use it for only this purpose and this is the best use of it okay and i have shown you that you can add this plugin this id selenium id plugin you can add in your chrome browser and you can add it in your firefox also so you can you can use firefox for the adding the extension you can use the chrome also or using anything you can record it in the same way and it will make your life easy so i hope you got it that how you can 
generate your complex scenario with the help of selenium ion. If you have, if you have liked the content, if you have liked the video, you can subscribe to my channel also. Thank you.